हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन बायोजेनेसिस इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव लर्न सम अल्कोलाइड डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम लाइसिन ओके सो होप यू रिमेम्बर द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ लाइसिन एंड फ्रॉम दिस लाइसिन वी हैव प्रिपेयर्ड सम ऑफ द अल्कोलाइड व्हिच इज कैडावेरिन देन पेले पेले टायरिन देन थर्ड वन एनाफेरिन फोर्थ वन व्हिच इज वेरी वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट वन दैट इज लोबेलानिन and the last one which is lobelin okay there is not too much difference between lobelanin and lobelin okay so these five uh, alkaloids we have derived in using the lysine today our target is to uh, prepare some alkaloids derived from ऑर्निथिन ओके ऑर्निथिन सो यू नो द ऑर्निथिन इज इम्पॉर्टंट एमिनो एसिड्स एंड द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दैट ऑर्निथिन इज दैट इज एन एच टू एंड सी ओ एच ओके मीन्स एमिनो एसिड इज देयर and one two three carbon chain and then another nh2 in other way used to say this is l ornithin yes from this we can easily prepared uh, this type of intermediate is called as pyrolidin i will write down the name pyrolidin or this is c4 n type of moiety okay so this is very important so from this ornithine uh, we have to prepare very important alkaloid which is uh, name is tropin okay and from this tropin there are involved so many steps okay so we will start one by one so how uh, first we will take this ornithin but i will rearrange it okay in this manner mm, okay we'll start ns2 1 2 3 carbon and then 1 coh 1 ns2 okay so this is our starting material then from this starting material there will be decarboxylation decarboxylation okay and what we will get is if minus co2 will not be there then to ns2 mm. okay to ns2 the name of this one is uh, natrecin we have used for this in zeman book the name of author is zeman on page number uh, sorry page number 293 okay so this is for your reference okay then uh, so after this di ns2 type of uh, compound there will be methylation methylation in biogenesis which reagent we have to use this sam 
same will help us to methylation so one hydrogen will replace with one me then there will be diamine oxidase in last uh, lysine type of alkaloid also we have prepared such kind of things okay and there you hope you remember this ns2 group will be oxidized and there will be formation of aldehyde group okay so this is nhme then c double bond oh like this okay so there will be formation of this formaldehyde type of group and then there is or directly i will write down c base formation c base formation and what we will get is our target not target molecule but important intermediate i would say that is the name of this one is here methyl okay so n sorry n methyl methyl pyrrolinium cation okay so this is the exact structure of n methyl pyrrolinium cation on this n methyl pyrrolinium cation it will act as a one of the important intermediate okay and from this intermediate how we can prepare it for further c so this will act as a starting material or better i will use next page so we will have more clear idea okay so this is n methyl n methyl plus and this double bond so there will be a reaction with this acetyl coenzyme okay so what type of reaction is there yes sure so this reaction i would say manis reaction okay and the product is like this nitrogen methyl will as such there will be double bond with this ch2 then this co this scoa right hope i am correct then then another molecule of acetyl coenzyme so there will be reaction on the place n methyl then this is one double bond then this molecule will remove and another s coenzyme so i will write down this is directly this is two step process actually but better to write down because how many times we can repeat it then there will be hydrolysis okay what will happen in hydrolysis yes so this co co h2 group is as such co ch2 <coughs> yes so what will happen this me this co ch2 
and instead of SCOH, there will be SCOA, there will be OH. Okay. There is another possibility of uh, because this is now more acidic type of hydrogen. Okay. So, in presence of base, what will happen? This acidic proton will remove. Okay. And sorry, I have not written here double bond. Uh, double bond no, is not there. <coughs> okay. So, there is again possibility after methylation there will be formation of this double bond. Okay. So, in this double bond and this minor charge will get react. So, there will be a rearranged type of product. How it will be? I will write down directly. So, N methyl having positive charge, then this double bond, then another bond, then this we have to manage how five bonds we have to manage. Okay. So, this five bond ring, then CH2, then C double bond O, then this CH2 and COOH. Okay, so, same compound we have added uh, written here, only thing is we have added this positive charge. Okay, so, this tautomeric product I can say. Okay. Then this acidic proton will attack on this type of bond okay. <coughs> and then the charge will be neutralized. <coughs> so, what we will get? Yes. So, again I will write down this nitrogen. Now, this will convert in single bond. Okay. Then this bond is there. Then methyl. Right. Hope we are fine. Then this, this double bond. Then here, the bond is like this. Correct. And this COOH we keep as such. Right. So, this is again one intermediate better I will do like this. So, there will be a decarboxylation now and very simple product. CO, yes, now this I will write down hydrogen instead of COH. So, this methyl type of product name of this compound is um, tropinone tropinone because ketone group is there and now this tropinone we have to convert it into tropine so how can convert it obviously nadp h h okay means reduction we have to carry out and after reduction so this methyl this bond sorry okay is like this then this bond like this okay and instead of double bond O, what will you have? OH group. Understand? And this is the name of compound is our target molecule which is tropine, famous alkaloid. Okay? I know this is little bit critical, but uh, I have given you the reference as well. So, how we have prepared, we will revise first and then you will understand. So, our target is to prepare an alkaloid 
derived from ornithine. So, this is the structure of ornithine is of basic amino acids having uh, 3 carbon and 1 amine, ok, like this. <coughs> then uh, from this, this pyrrolidine type of ring we can prepare. I have taken it from the Zeman is the author and page number 293 is there. So, in that book you can see this is L ornithine, ok, then after decarboxylation there will be only amine group will remain. This amine group will be methylated, ok, the methylation will happen and there will be formation of this methyl group. Then in uh, diamine oxidase means there is oxidation of this group and there will be formation of this formaldehyde type of uh, sorry aldehyde group will be uh, formed. Then the chip base formation there will be a cyclization and you will get this N methyl pyrrolinium cation or other way we can say this is eminium cation or eminium ion. I, I would write down eminium ion. Okay. There will be reaction of this eminium ion with this acetyl coenzyme. Okay. So, what type of reaction will be there in acetyl coenzyme? Manage type of reaction. Okay. So, uh, the this nucleophile will attack on the eminium ion and there will be formation of this intermediate. Again it will react with another molecule of acetyl coenzyme and you will get this type of product. So, there will you have two um, carbonyl type of moieties. In hydrolysis obviously, this bond will break and there will be formation of <coughs> this carboxylic acid group. Okay. Then there will be rearrangement and uh, this bond will get attack on the adjacent of the carbon present on this nitrogen group. Okay. And there will be formation of this bicyclic type of compound or bicyclic compound. Okay. In uh, after decarboxylation in this compound you will get the intermediate or one type of alkaloid which is tropinone and from this uh, tropinone we have reduced and we have formed the tropine ok. One of the famous alkaloid uh, prepared from the which one? Yes, ornithine. Hope you understand. Uh, students, uh, write down the notes, uh, whatever structures I have given, please uh, see from the reference as well and make your own notes and it will benefited you for the examinations. Okay. Thank you and good day.